Right, what's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video and another objectives guide. Now first of all, if you guys don't know how these objective guides work, basically we go over all of these objectives, I give you guys my tips and tricks, and the most anticipated part of the video, I build a relatively cheap meta team that you guys can use to complete this card between maybe 15 and 20,000 coins, and obviously like, you know, the best possible team that you can use. Now if you guys are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, we upload objective guides, and I'm going to get a few play reviews out this morning so lads let me know what new players from the team of group stage promo you want to see reviewed without further ado boys at least get into it starting off we've got score four goals using a striker in a live foot friendly managerial masterpiece which is simple as now lots of people i mean first of all i can say one thing also people do sometimes maybe play a striker off chem at say a center forward or a center forward off chem at a striker um it has to literally he has to be starting as a striker in a striker position a few people do mess that up um assist two goals using crosses which is simple as square on the playstation and x on the xbox score using serie a players in seven separate matches and win four matches in a live foot friendly managerial masterpiece looks quite quite easy i'll be brutally honest it looks like you just want a full serie a side genuinely that's it so let's get into the squad builder lads and remember as well this squad builder is going to be between 15 and 20 thousand coins I've had comments in the past that are like, this squad builder isn't even insane. The whole point of this squad builder is for those of you that may not have, you know, a, a stacked club. You may not have hundreds of thousands of coins lying around to go out and buy a good Serie A team. So this is going to be a cheap budget meta Serie A team. So obviously we'll get into the squad builder and then the tips and tricks. Let's get into it, boys. Now, as well, the managerial masterpiece requirements, a uh, team overall rating of maximum 77, 88 and higher overall players at most one, at most one lone player, and you can have no players 74 rated or low, so you can't have any silver players or below. Now, we have gone ahead and built a team, and this is a very cheap budget team, and in my opinion, it's going to do the job very, very well. As you can see, we've got the 77 rating requirement, no problem, and we have got all the players over 75 rated now i've gone for a 4-4-2 formation simply because you need to score in separate matches with strikers and we've got two strikers and as well you do want the wide option for the crosses which is why we have gone for a formation with right mids and left mids so you can obviously go down the wing and try cross it into your strikers but left striker we're using Ossie Men himself hopefully i am pronouncing that right as well uh right striker we're going for Keita balde i'm pretty sure it's pronounced uh first of all two really really solid cards I know Victor Osimhen, I mean, like, really good pace. His shooting is actually quite good, especially 85 finishing for a gold rare card. Sure, his balance isn't quite there, but, I mean, as a gold card, he'll definitely do the job. As for Balde, I mean, he feels really good on the ball. Some really, really good pace. He's just, you know, pace and vibes in there. He's pace and vibes. Left mid, we have gone for Felipe Anderson. 5 foot 9, uh, medium, medium, 4 star, 4 star. Yeah, sure, he's nothing crazy, but he's got some good pace and solid dribbling about him. Center mid, we've gone for Zambo and Guisa, which I remember I actually did a review on his inform card, and he was absolutely nuts, so as, as long as his gold rear can perform somewhat close to that, he'll be nutty, and as well, we have gone for McKinney in the midfield, right mid, we've gone for Politano, it was either an option between him and Hatterbor, uh, Hatterbor's got one more pace, but he's got like 64 shooting, so I think Politano's definitely the safe option. Heading on over to the back line, first left back is going to be Haps, 5'9", you know, 85 agility, once again, really good pace defending not amazing but physical will do the job just your standard Serie A uh, left back left center back we've gone for Tamori uh, 79 rated he's probably going to be 3 or 4k because people will be seeing this card at these objectives and he'll be spiking up but what a card he is um in my opinion top three gold rear center backs on the game or, or cheap i should say under 85 rated center backs i should say because obviously i wouldn't say he's quite on the level of van like varan etc etc but none of the least he is unreal paired up we've gone for luis felipe he's not what he was last year last year he had like 78 pace but still he'll definitely get the job done i mean 80 defending really 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 nice and 73 pace is definitely bearable for a center back and at right back we've gone for D Lorenzo now in net just we went for the lowest rated possible because goalies don't really matter and obviously we wanted to get the team rating down a tiny bit to be able to afford you know, to be able to you know use a team we want we need to have a max rating of 77 remember that lads so we've gone for a lower rated goalkeeper actually the lowest rated you can use because obviously you can't use 74 and below because uh, I feel like the keeper is just not too much 
much of an important position compared to the outfield players. Now, tip number one is going to be the bench. Make sure your bench is full of 75 rated players because if you do make the mistake of having a very high rated player in here, then the rating will go above 77 rated. Uh, keep an eye on my team rating. Let's say if I had Messi on the bench, there we go. The team goes to 178, which is too much. You know, the limit is 177, isn't it? So make sure your bench is full of 75 rated or, or low. I mean, it can't be low. So make sure it's full of 75 rated or the lowest rated gold cobble slash gold rares in your club just once again heads up make sure it is below 77 rated or 77 or below i mean if you are above it it won't even let you go into the game anyway but i know i know i've had lots of people in the past that have built this team they've thought they're benching and enough complained to me saying like you know it's not working it's over the team rating and that's simply because they're using their high rated players on the bench right lads so make sure your bench is all 75 rated and below now lads heading on over to tip number two it is going to be chemistry styles now i am not sponsored by these guys at all by the way what a promo there is a lot of good cards here uh by the way i'm not sponsored by these guys at all i'm just using this as an example now let's take i'm gonna go with tamori uh you know what? no we don't go tomorrow we'll go anderson today felipe anderson so the beauty of footbin um, as I said, I know I've said, said this a lot, but I am not sponsored by Footbin, just using them as an example, but you can search it on, you know, your desktop, phone, whatever, but Felipe Anderson, right, 1.3k on the PlayStation, 1.4 on the Xbox, as well as, please ignore the ads, apologies about that, but the beauty of Footbin, you can have a look at different chemistry styles and what it affects in game. For example, Chuck and Marksman on Felipe Anderson. Uh, he gets a plus 7 shooting, he goes. He, he gets a plus 10 finishing, he goes to 80 finishing, 87 shot power, and 89 long shots. Dribbling as well, he gets a plus 10 ball control, plus 10 dribbling, he gets a plus 10 strength, plus 10 jumping. And as you can see in game, he goes to an 83 rated left wing. So although he's only 78 rated, with the marksman applied, he goes and he will perform as if he's an 83 rated. Obviously with a shooting, dribbling, and physical boost. Let's say with a guardian on him, which I don't know why you'd go for a guardian to get the defending boost but you know he goes to an 81 rated you know it gives him a plus 9 dribbling and a plus 10 defending with a hunter on him there we go uh, he gets a plus 10 pace he goes to 95 so basically the moral of the story you, you chemistry styles the generally tip two is just chemistry styles lads and that's just an example to show although he may only be 78 rated with a correct chemistry style being a hunter in this case he, he'll perform as if he's 83 rated in game now you don't have to go out and buy shadows for your defense defenders or hunters for your strikers because they're like four to five thousand coins but just check your club for example i've got loads of chemistry styles in the club of a minute i think 200 plus it'll make that 300 plus let's say a marksman i've got 18 marksmen i could use a marksman on them give me like i said a shooting dribbling and physical boost and it'll just give them give them that little bit of juice and game if that makes sense it'll give them a little bit of a feeling like okay their shooting's gonna feel better their dribbling as well will feel better and they'll get a nice physical boost um so so you just got the mentality, although he's 78 rated, chuck a marksman on him and boom, he's essentially an 83 rated. Sometimes, I know it's a small difference, but sometimes that can be the difference between winning and losing. Now tip number three, this one is going to be optional. This is just one that I personally use myself. Now, tip number three is going to be golden goal. Not everyone's going to be doing golden goal, so if you guys don't want to do golden goal and just play it out normally, then you can skip this part of the video. If you guys don't know what golden goal is, essentially, if you concede first, you will quit, and if you score first, your opponent will pause and quit. Obviously, your opponent won't pause and quit if they're not doing goal on goal themselves, but it's a little bit of an unspoken community rule. And some objectives, sure, you actually need to play the game out. Like, if you have to win by at least two goals, like we have had, you know, with objectives in the past, then people won't be doing goal on goal because they, you know, if you do score a goal, you need to keep going anyway. Um, but what happens um, with a objective anyway is you can just do goal on goal. You just need to score in separate matches with Serie A players and strikers and obviously get the crosses and you're good like that. So as soon as you score with your player, and if you are doing golden goal, I feel like maybe 50% of the community is going to be doing golden goal, but this is an objective you really can be doing golden goal in. Now, if you guys are competing in golden goal, all you got to do is make your team name golden goal, because obviously you load up every game and you will see your opponent's team. Your, your opponent's team will load up and you see their squad name. Now, if, you, if your opponent loads up and sees your team and he sees the team name golden goal, you're essentially letting him know that you are doing golden 
golden goal and you know he, he'll be either be well, once again he might not do it don't be toxic if he doesn't want to do golden goal then you don't have to do golden goal um just literally play the game but if you like i said want to stick to the golden goal rule then you can do that i would highly recommend it because you can get like six or seven games done in the time it would usually take one game to finish now lads once again we're just going to recap over the objectives but it seems relatively simple enough today hopefully this video did help you guys out if you are new as well make sure to drop a like and subscribe so as you can see score four goals using a striker in a live foot friendly i mean it's not even in separate matches you could score four goals with you know it's either aussie men or balde literally in one game if you had to so that's simple as assist two goals using crosses now the crosses can be with anyone but that's why we have gone for the 4-4-2 with the right mid and left mid so we've got those players out wide score using Serie A players in seven separate matches and win four matches easy enough boys hope you guys did enjoy it's been your boy davis and until next time see you later lads